so I just got back from a date. It's the same date I went on for my first date. This is my third date. And um, I would have thought he would have, you know, made a move and try to like kiss me or something. Because I still don't know yet if there's there's chemistry for sure. But you know you need to know that physical connection. And you don't really know until they make a move. And sometimes like you don't know until you actually get a kiss or something. Like we need to cross that line already. And I was kind of thinking tonight would be the night where he would kiss me. And he was didn't do it. So I'm just like, I don't know. I'm kind of losing interest. Like he's so nice. He, if I would have be like, why didn't you kiss me? He'd be like, well, I just want to be respectful. He's such a respectful dude that I want him to be a little disrespectful like be a little disrespectful to me okay if you feel like you know you want to insult me a little bit do it you know if you feel like right now is not the time to piss me off piss me off a little bit test me a little bit challenge me and like this is where the nice guys like fall into the nice category you could be so nice and respectful but I'm getting bored and I hate myself for it. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. All women get turned on when you're not trying to be nice to them. See, a lot of you guys go on these dates trying to be perfect, trying to make sure you say the right thing, try not to get on her bad side. Stop that, man. She's going to get turned off when you do that. See, a lot of you guys be trying to accommodate to these women. And when you try to accommodate to them, they get turned off. They get turned off by you trying to be nice and they don't like that. Stop trying to be Mr. Nice Guy. Be you, bro. Matter of fact, you need to be overconfident. I keep telling you guys, be confident. See, when you're confident, you're not going to try to be nice to women because you can't do that. You can't do both things. You can't be confident and be nice to a woman. That, that's impossible. Because when you're confident, you're just not going to care. And guess what? She's going to gravitate to that. She's going to like that. Because she's going to look at that as a, as a challenge. She's like, oh, this dude is overconfident. He ain't trying to appease to me. He's not telling me what I want to hear. He's not trying to put me on a pedestal. And guess what? She's like, oh, he's different. That's the first thing that's going to run through her mind. This dude is different. See, when I be out on these dates with these chicks, I be having fun. I be real competitive and confident. And guess what? They like that. Why? Because I'm not over here trying to ask him how was their day and, and ooh, where you work at and, and what did you eat for breakfast. Oh, no, we ain't asking none of that. We over here having fun. Like, if we at the gym on a date, I'm telling her, you straight up, oh, you can't lift that. <laughs> you That's too much for you, shorty. Let me show you how to do it. Or I might take him to Dave and Busters and I'm like, yo, shorty, you can't beat me at air hockey. What's up? Bah, 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 bah. I be talking smack. My dates be different. Bro, I'll be over there tell Shorty, you're not better than me. That's basically what I'm saying on these days. You're not better than me. And they like that because why? It's a challenge, bro. They like something new. They don't like to sit up there on these dates and, and talk about the same. They don't want to do that. This is why I tell you guys, stop taking them on dinner dates. You need to take them on dates where it's going to be action, where it's going to be y'all doing things and having fun. Yeah, you could stay the night or go home. Or you could stay. I don't care, but you could stay. You're still seeing other people? That's awesome. That's that's so awesome. Hey, if you want to brush your teeth, there's a toothbrush in the bathroom with your name on it. Because <laughs> I wrote your name on it. No, I don't see myself as your girlfriend at all. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's... Uh, <laughs> what? I think it's great this is casual because I'm just like a casual person, you know? Like, I just throw on my sweatpants, put my hair up in a messy bun, and I go. Like, monogamy is a social construct, and I would never want to try it. Like, not even one time to see what it'd be like. Oh my god, Emily DM'd you. Yeah, Emily, she's so pretty. Yeah, you should go for it. I just love sharing you with the world, booba. Wait, look at this photo we took together. Yeah, we look really good in it, and especially you, so you should probably, like, you should post it. You should post it or something because you look really good. You look really good in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad I'm not one of those crazy girls that's like, you're my boyfriend and no one else can have you. <laughs> like, they're, that's crazy. Funny video, but it's how a lot of women are. See, women will tell you they're okay with being in a situation shit with you. They're okay with being your little sneaky link. They're okay with being friends with benefits. But deep down inside, they really want a relationship. And I've been there before where I have a chick I'm just smashing. I don't really care about her like that. But she'll be making jokes about us being together. And she'll get mad when she see me with other women. Why? Because she really wants me. This is why I tell you guys, you want to make sure a woman see you as sneaky link first. Boyfriend last. Why? Because when a woman see you as a sneaky link or the dude that she want to hook up with, she's going to fight to get out of that position. See, when you put a woman in the friend zone and you just want to keep smashing, you don't really care about like that, she's going to fight to get out of that position to be number one in your life. She's going to fight for that commitment. But if she see you as something long term, she's not going to want to be giving you sex like that. And she's going to make you overcompensate and do things that the guys that she really like will never have to do. Get ready with me for a hookup. <laughs> 
I got like super judged last time I did one of these, but all I have to say to that is, yo, okay? So this is a little backwards, because as you can see, my makeup's already done, but it is 10.30 at night and I'm going to his place and I don't feel like sleeping in my makeup. So I'm taking it off so I don't have to deal with it. He's like really sweet. He lets me sleep in while he goes to work because he goes to work super fucking early. So I'm gonna sleep in until it's time for me to meet my trainer and I'm just gonna go straight to the gym from there. I've been seeing this guy for like a couple weeks now. Um, like three weeks. And he usually comes here. I've only stayed at his place once. So tonight will be the second. And at first my intentions were just to have this guy as a consistent hookup. Uh, but like I'm catching feelings and I can't help it. I'm a simp. I'm just going to live with it, but I'm not going to have expectations. You know, I'm just going to enjoy it while it lasts. And if it leads to something great, if it doesn't, then at least we're having fun, you know? <laughs> Catch me in a few weeks crying about it. I'll keep all up there. Okay. And he does tell me that it's not one-sided, but like I said, I'm still not going to have any expectations because shit happens. Shit happens. And we are kind of like very different in a lot of ways, but it's fine. I don't, I, he's more than anything, he's a friend. I told y'all he usually comes here, so that pillow has, it's, it's going to stay there. <laughs> Put my back my book and chuck. I'm glad we're to the point though where I don't care what I look like really. <laughs> also, I find his bed like 10 times more comfy than mine, so I'm so excited. Because I've not been sleeping good. Ever since I had stopped smoking, I have not been sleeping good. But like he puts me to bed, you know what I'm saying? Puts me to sleep. If this doesn't work out though, I'm going to download Hinge because my friends are on there and they're having like a blast. Which, I'm not really into dating apps. Like, I remember I downloaded Bumble. It lasted a total of seven minutes and I deactivated it. It's weird. Alright, I'm ready. I just gotta pack my bags and go. Wish me luck. It's gonna be fun. Guys, more proof that if a woman really likes you, she's not gonna have no problem with y'all hooking up and smashing. And I want you to notice how in the video she said, I don't care, I'm a simp, it is what it is. You see, when a woman really likes you, she's gonna simp for you. She's gonna put you on the pedestal. She's gonna go out her way for you. That's why I keep trying to tell you guys, man. Get on your grind, focus on your purpose, become the best version of yourself, get in the gym. Because when you do these things, women will put you on a the pedestal. They'll simp for you. That's why I tell you guys, stop simping for them. Stop going out your way for them because they don't respect you. And I bet that dude that she's hooking up with don't put her on the pedestal. He probably focused on his grind. He's doing his thing. But guess what? She's adjusting to him. She's going along with his program. I keep trying to tell you guys, stop putting these women on a pedestal. See, a lot of guys be simping and going out their way for these women. And those same women will turn around and go get with a guy who's doing none of that. And they'll give that guy access to a body. This is why I'm preaching all my videos about self-respect and having confidence and holding yourself to a high standard. Because guess what? When you do this... Women will send for you. Women will go out there with you. And guess what? If they don't do it, you don't deal with them. Because if a woman really likes you, she has no problem. Because guess what? Her emotions going to take control of her. Like she said in that video, I can't help it. They can't help their emotions. They can't help it. So if a woman get around you telling you, oh, you got to take me on all these days. You got to do all of this for me. Don't deal with her. Because I'm telling you right now, she will go hook up with another dude that don't do any of those things. Bottom line, guys, when a woman really likes you, she will go out her way for you. And you ain't never got to question it. Point blank, period. All right? It's your boy, Ty X World. Why, man? Hope you enjoyed the message of this video. Just like all my videos, there is a message in there. Y'all already know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Get with y'all another time.